Hey everybody, BrickLiver18 here today with another LEGO book review. So this book is actually No Starch Press's newest release that just came out on September 1st, 2020. And as you can see, it is titled The LEGO Train Project. This is a really cool book that I'm actually really excited about. I was reading it earlier and it's pretty incredible. The LEGO Train Project is a book with over 200 full color pages of step-by-step -step building instructions to help you build nice but reliable LEGO train models. So with this book, you can build a total of seven different models and as you can see, See, there are a few examples on the very front here. As I mentioned, this book did just come out September 1st, has over 200 pages, and was written by Charles Prochette. I'm very sorry if, if I just butchered your last name, please. If you're watching this video, correct me in the comments. But this is really cool. So this is what the front cover looks like here. As you can see, it's the LEGO Train Project, and it's got a whole bunch of the different models that you get to build here. And then when you switch it around to the back, as you can see, this is what the back cover looks like. All aboard, and it has even more of a variety of the different models that you can get to make in it. This is a very colorful book. It's a pretty decent size. Pretty nice thickness as you can see here, all color coded for the different models. And with that, I'm really excited to actually dive into this book and show you how cool the LEGO Train Projects really is. All right, and here is the LEGO Train Projects. This is the front cover of the book. With this book, you can build seven creative LEGO Train models. It is really cool, so let's just get right into it. When you flip it open here, as you can see, this is the cover page, LEGO Train Projects by No Starch Press. We have all the legal stuff, and then we've got a really cool thing with the about the author. So the author here, as you can see, has been building with LEGO for the last 35 years, and is a professional graphic designer, which is really cool. And he's actually been behind the scenes of several Lego books. So that's actually pretty cool. And then we've got a really cool Lego build of him right there. Moving it on to the next page, as you can see, this is the table of contents for the book. And it shows the seven different models that we'll actually get a chance to see the full step-by-step -step instructions on how to build of this model. So as you can see, they're the introduction pages here. And then as you can see, all of the different, you know, cars, locomotives, the engines, all that right down there starting at page 10 and ending all the way at page 145. And then as you can see, each model here has a different color to correspond with, you know, the different pages in the book. Because when you tilt it like this from the top, as you can see, there are different colors of the pages there. And that's so you can easily skip to the different models. And as you can see we have introduction seeing the light and it just kind of gives an overall introduction to this book with a really cool lego train operator minifigure moving it on here as you can see there is a step-by-step -step on how to use this book as well as how to find the pieces basically the how to use this book is just like you'd expect if you've ever built it says this right in the book actually but if you've ever built a lego set you know how to use this book because it is very similar to the lego instructions as well as it's got a really cool list of ways to different find the pieces which i think would be pretty good because i know a lot of people who may Maybe just picked up this book at a bookstore or something like that might have no clue how to build these models like if they don't immediately have the pieces so it gives you know the pick a brick walls bricklink things like that as well as I like it because it explicitly says if you don't have the pieces to how to build you know if you don't have the exact pieces for these models that's okay you can totally use whatever pieces you have change the color ups and things like that but these are the pieces they will be using for the manual you know, we might as well take a look at the coal gondola right here. It is the very first one. As you can see, it's got a great picture of the model and on, you know, a 3D rendering here, which I really appreciate. We've got the title of the model right up here. Down at the bottom, it's got all the different information that you need about this model, including the piece count, the number of unique bricks, the width, the height, and the length, which is pretty cool. I like how it's got everything included there. And then it's also got the train conductor giving a little speech bubble there, you know, Fill this car with some loose black 1x1 one one round studs for a cool load that looks great and adds texture. So overall, I just think that's a cool, like, a little timbit to make this look, this model look, you know, as detailed as possible. As you can see, we're in, like, the darker orange section. As soon as you open it up, it just looks like LEGO instruction manuals. Very well done. Really great pieces here. As you can see, step one, two, three, four. It's got the detailed list of all the pieces you need for the step, as well as it's got the ha the step-by-step -step how to build it when the model might look a little bit more confusing. You know, just, just like a typical, just like a typical LEGO set. Everything is numbered here. I like it. It looks like it's two one but two by two bricks you know down there it's numbered numbered 
At the very end of the instructions here, as you can see, it does actually have a full list of all the different parts needed. So this is really good for before you start building the model. It's got the item ID, the description, the color, and the quantity. It's also got a pictures of each of that as well. So I really do appreciate that they included both of these because some people would much rather have a list. Other people would much rather have the pictures. Like if you're a diehard Lego collector, yeah, you'll probably just use the list and go on Brickly and get everything. But if you're just, you know, a casual A fall or even a K fall or a T fall, you'd much rather just go through your collection brick by brick and find everything. So I do like how they did it there. I think they did a very, very nice job. At the very last page here from the first model, as you can see, it also shows different color schemes that you could do for this gone. So as I mentioned at the start of this video, they're very specific. You don't have to just choose the red and gray color scheme that you can use whatever bricks or whatever colors you have. And it gives some suggestions here. As you can see, this is the milk tanker, which is the second model of the book. I really like this one. It's got 188 pieces and has a total of 63 unique pieces. I won't show you step by step the instructions, obviously, but we'll just kind of go through nice and gently here until we get to the very end of the model. As you can see, it looks like a really cool model, and then the piece count in the number of pieces is quite a bit larger. Moving on here to the very third model, we have the Open Hopper, which is really cool, and again, you know, more alternate builds there, but back to the Open Hopper. This set has, th this build has 310 pieces, so quite a bit larger than the other two, but still overall looks super, super awesome. Great step-by-step -step building instructions there. Check out the pieces, some of the alternating colors. And then we got the fourth model of this book, which is the, de the depressed flat car with the electric with the electrical load. This has got 382 pieces, so again, a little bit bigger than the third model here. The fifth model of this book is actually the Passenger Coach, which I think is definitely one of my favorite ones, just because as not somebody who doesn't know a ton about trains, I traveled on the trains a lot in my first few years at university, so I've ridden on many different passenger coaches. This one has 383 different parts, uh, 87 unique pieces, and is over 24 centimeters long. So it's quite a long model, but overall looks really cool. I think this would be a great addition to any LEGO City train. As you can see, the step-by-step -step instructions on this one are quite a bit bigger. There are quite a few more required steps. And then here's a key couple different color schemes. I really like this color scheme and because I'm Canadian, I take Via Rail. So I would almost take this one and add some blue, add some yellow as well. That would really make it a Via Rail train for me. And then we've got the sixth model here, which is the powered box car. Again, really cool. Kind of getting back to the smaller side of the piece count. This one has 144 pieces uh, and is 15 centimeters long, but still looks very, very cool here. And as you can see, it is a much smaller model. This one is powered up. So it shows you how to add the power functions into it, which I think is really cool. And as you can see, they do add the electrical motor right over there. And then it shows, of course, how to build up around it and then cover it up. And then the piece count right here and a couple of the other different colors that you could make this model in. And even though this one has a smaller piece count, it would definitely be on the costier side just because of these additional motors and things like that. And finally, last but not least, we have the seventh model of the book, which is the EMD FL9 locomotive, which I definitely, I love this one. This is the only locomotive that we get in this book. The rest are different cars and uh, things and things like that, but this one is the locomotive. This is by far the biggest model of the book with 698 different pieces, which is pretty incredible. This one is 36 centimeters long, so quite long, which is, that's about 15 inches, 10 centimeters tall and seven centimeters wide. So this is a really cool different set here and definitely takes up the majority of the book, but as you can see, it still gives a great step-by-step -step detail on how to build this model. You know, even though there are a hundred steps for this model, still gives a full step-by-step -step instructions and looks incredible. Again, we've got the piece count because there's 600 pieces. There are quite a lot of pieces here, but still looks very, very good. And then this one doesn't actually give any alternative models. And that actually brings us to the very end of the book, which is all aboard um, the six different models here, I guess is a better overview of them all, the step-by-steps, the different color schemes. Uh, overall, I just think this is a really fun book. 
I would love to try building some of these Lego trains. I think the builds are really great. So shout out to the designer, shout out to the author who did all of these models. They are pretty incredible. And I'm really curious now after taking you through not the step-by-step -step model because that's what the book is here for, but taking you through an overview of all the seven different models that are included in this book. Let me know down in the comments below which of these models is your favorite. And if you had this book, which model would you build first? All right, so thanks everybody so much for watching this video of my reviewing the Lego Train Projects, the newest Lego book from No Starch Press. No Starch Press did provide this review copy for this video, so huge thank you to them. I really enjoyed checking it out, and I honestly think if you're a Lego enthusiast, a Lego train enthusiast, or anything at all, I think you'd really enjoy this book as well. So if you want to go check it out, I will have a link down in the description below for this book, as well as all the other different Lego books from No Starch Press. They really do have a ton of different ones. I've got a bunch in my collection. So thanks everybody so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy please don't forget to leave a like comment and of course subscribe looking forward to seeing you here in future videos as well don't forget to check out this book down in the comments below and i will see you in the next one